Hi, welcome to your 30 minute dancer body workout this week. I'm Stephanie and I am going to lead you through a little dancer body workout. So we're going to start with plies, we'll do some squats, we'll do some cardio, some core, and then we'll end with um, some floor floor exercises. Okay. All right. So let's get started. Um, for today's class, if you have a block, have it nearby. You don't have to have it, but if you have one, it could be helpful for a couple of the moves. And then if you have some weights, these can be nice to just add a little bit to um, a couple of the moves, like the squats we'll be doing. Um, it'll be optional to use weights if you have them. So two pound, three pound, five pound, maybe eight pound if you're feeling really strong today. All right, so we're gonna start with a wide second position. Turning out, hips rotated out. Think about your posture, lift up in your core, tailbone drops down, open in your chest, shoulders down your back, rib cage closed, all of that. Relax your arms. <sighs> deep breath, and we'll start with plies. Ready, and down, and up. I'm not using music today, so feel free to turn on your favorite playlist. Breathe as you plie. Think about going straight up and down. Your torso stays stacked over your hips, just like an elevator going straight up and down. We'll do four more here. Three, we're just warming up the legs. Two. Last one. Now here we're gonna hold the plie and we're just gonna pulse. Long length through your arms. If you have a ballet background or a dancer's background, um, you know, think about finding that posture, that correct alignment in your arms. Otherwise, just think about reaching straight out, drawing your shoulders down, long line of energy. You could also take your palms down if you'd like. Little pulses, four, three, two, one. One more set of grand pliés. As you lift, think about lengthening through your spine, energy out through the top of your head. Four more, three, two, last one. One more set of pulses. If your arms are burning right now, feel free to take your hands to your hips if you'd like. You could also, I don't have my weights with me right now, but if you had your weights, you could also take your weights at heart center or you could take your weights to your hip creases for more of a challenge. Keep pulsing. Another option to up level would be to lift one heel or both heels. If you do one heel at a time, make sure to do both. Both sides. <laughs> All right, we'll pulse here for four, three, two, and releve, lift and hold, nice length. Energy up through the fingertips, shoulders down your back, cinch in your core, and finish. Okay, shake that out. Let's take a couple stretches side to side. We didn't really stretch today, the beginning, because this is a shorter class. It's not a full hour. We're just doing 30 minutes. Um, so we'll just kind of work some stretches in in between the workout. Okay, bring your feet to about hip width distance apart. If you have a block, feel free to take a block and place it in between your thighs so that you could activate your inner thighs as well. Um, and then feel free to grab these weights. Okay, so now we're gonna squat. Um, so I want you to sit down in a, like a chair position. So again, really cinching in your core. Sitting back into your heels, long spine, hands at heart center to start. And we're just gonna start with pulses. 
Keep breathing. See how low you can go here while keeping the spine long, back of the neck long, core super strong to protect your back. Okay, eight, seven, six, four, three, two. Now moving into full squats with bicep curls down and up, down and up, squeezing your block. Press your hips forward as you lift. Exhale at the top. Now, depending on the tempo of music that you're listening to right now, if you are listening to music, you can speed these up, you can slow these down. Do what works for your body. What I'm doing here is really just a guide for you to hopefully inspire you and to give you a structure to work off of. But you can make this your own. So four more here. Three, two, and one. Now let's pulse again at the bottom. Here's a moment to catch your breath. Think a little lower, eight more. Four, three, two, one set of full squats down. And up, yeah. Um, if you don't want to do something different here, if you want a little bit more, option to jump, bring up into the air. And as you jump up, push your arms up and then squat, yeah. Maybe even point your toes in the air. So that's an option. Keep breathing. Last four. Get low. Three, two, and one. All right. Release your block, release your weights. Ooh. Okay, let's take a stretch. Let's just take that wide second again. Sink down, do what feels good for you. Let me open up those hips, stretch it out a little bit. And listen to your body. If it feels good, take a forward fold, shake out your head no. Maybe walk your hands forward or side to side. Notice where you're feeling tightness. Just stretch into that place that needs to be stretched. Take two more rounds of breath here. And then go ahead and bend your knees, roll up one vertebra at a time all the way to standing. Okay, great. So I want you to just walk out to a plank position. Yeah, nice, strong, long plank position. We're gonna start with just four mountain climbers. One, two, three, four. Downward dog, breathe, and then come back to plank. Yeah, so four. Downward dog, come back. Yeah, one, two, three, four. Down dog, and back. One, two, three, four. Down dog, and back. Two more. Down dog, and back. One, two, three. Last one. Woo. All right, lower down to your knees. Maybe take a child's pose if that feels good. And I'm moving into side plank. Uh, 
I'm going to do a modified side plank. If you want to do a full side plank today, please go for it. Stack your shoulder over your wrist, lengthen up through your top arm, and you are in this modified side plank, yeah? Um, if you want, you can lift your leg. If you want, you could reach your arm forward. You could even take some crunches here. But that's an option. You could also just hold a full plank. Yeah, so do the variation that works for you. We're here for eight, seven, six. Maybe look up at your top arm, four, three, two, one. Nice, guys. Come back to tabletop. Option to stretch that out. Breathe. You could wiggle it out, cat cow, if you want. <laughs> and we'll do the other side. Yeah. Turn to your other side. Shoulder over your wrist. Do the same variation that you did on the first side. Okay, so again. You could take um, crunches. You could take a full side plank. And do your variation. Eight, seven, six. Keep lengthening. Four, three, two, one. And come down. Option for child's pose. All right, and roll yourself back up. Nice work, everybody. Okay, moving on. Let's take it into a boat pose now before we go into a little bit, a few more legs. Um, so again, if you have your block and you wanna use it, you can take your block in between your thighs again. This is optional. Take your hands under your knees, long spine. Lift your sh shins parallel to the floor, shoulders down your back, gaze slightly up, and then move to your fullest expression. Maybe you reach your arms up, maybe they reach forward, maybe you extend all the way. Hold that full expression for four, three, two, one, and lower. Okay, while we're here, let's take couple more leg stretches before we get into our lower body. So let's just start with butterfly, nice and tall. Exhale, fold forward, relax. Again, do what your body needs. So like if you're not feeling butterfly today, if you wanna do something different, that is fine. This is your class, do what you need. So option to fold over one side. And then when you're ready, go to the other side. Gently press down your opposite leg. And come back to center. And roll yourself back up. Okay, go ahead and shake out your legs. Let's take one more um, leg exercise. Guys, we're gonna do a, an L shape with our body. You're just gonna lower over to your side, creating an L with your body. Your legs are going straight out to the front and your torso is at a right angle here. Okay, and then lift up to your top leg and in, in, a little bit inverted, working the outer thigh. We're just gonna pulse. I'm gonna pulse, just small little pulses here. Your right hand can be in front of you for support or you can take it to your hip. If, you, if this is hard on your neck, you could also choose to just relax <laughs> your head on your arm. Do what works for you. It's going straight up and down. So you should start to feel this burn again in your outer thigh, maybe your butt, your glute. 
two more eights here. Okay, now from here, we're gonna go up, 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 and then lower down without quite touching. Up, 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 and lower. Try to pause for a moment in each position. Two more of these. And one more little set of pulses. Hopefully you're feeling the burn. It's okay if your leg is lower or it can be higher, as long as your legs aren't touching, that's what's important. And as long as you have the energy reaching through the back of the leg, you don't want the top leg to be bent. Eight, seven, six, four, three, two, one, lower it down. Wow, massage out the muscle. And we'll do the other side. Okay, before we do the other side, let's just take a little bit of a stretch. <sighs> Both legs straight, just go ahead and relax forward. Um, and, you know, as always, work from where you're at. Don't worry if you're not as flexible maybe as you used to be, or if you're working back into that flexibility or you're getting it for the first time. Just do what you need. And any progress is good progress, yeah? Two more rounds of breath. And go ahead and roll yourself back up and let's do the other side. Again, we're taking that L shape with the body. Okay, here we go. Whew. Kind of relax your bottom leg and um, just going straight up and down with the top leg. Slightly wrong angle. You need to make little modifications as you go. That's fine. Just try to find that best alignment for you. Eight more here. Four, three, two, one. Now we'll take up, up, up and lower, up, 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 up. And lengthening through the back of the leg, energy out through the heel. One more here. And then we come back to our pulses, last set. You should be feeling this in your outer thigh, maybe your hamstring a little bit in your glutes. Last two eights. Four, three, two, one, and lower it down. Massage out that side. All right, come back up. Let's do one more hamstring step, stretch from that pike. Position, inhale, lengthen up. Whew. Okay. All right, great job, everybody. One more round of breath. 
and slowly rise back up. Okay, from here, let's take a seated uh, figure four to stretch out our glute a little bit more on the outer hip. So cross one leg over, um, tall spine. And you should feel the stretch in your glute, your outer hip. Option to maybe roll out your ankle here if that feels good. If you don't feel this stretch, you may want to walk your hands further towards your body. So bring and get into a taller posture. Um, you could also do pigeon, half pigeon here. Um, if this way, if you're not feeling this one. All right, other side. One side might feel different than the other, that's okay. And just keep breathing. Take a moment to feel proud of yourself for showing up today and doing a workout. Like everybody's busy. I know you probably have a lot on your plate and the fact that you, you know, took the time to get, you know, on your mat or on the floor and uh, work out, stretch, do what's right for your body to make your body feel good. That is worth celebrating. Yeah. Okay. Hey guys, I think that's it for today. Um, you know, today was a shorter workout, but I hope we covered a lot of the bases. We got legs in, we got some cardio in, we got core in. Um, so, and we even, we did a little bit with the weights. So you got a little bit of arms as well. Um, but yeah, let me know um, what you'd like to see more of. And I hope you have a great day. All right. Thank you.